Let's say you're on a multi-pitch climb and you dropped your belay device. It's happened to me, it might happen to you someday. Really great thing to know is the Munter hitch. This is a hitch that you can belay off of. This is even a hitch you can repel off of. So if you know this, you can get yourself out of a bind someday when you lose your belay device midway on a climb. A Munter hitch is a clove hitch with one half twist less. So you can tie it in a similar way, clip the rope through the carabiner, and then for a clove hitch, I would grab that back strand, put a full twist in it, and clip it through the back of the carabiner. For that Munter, I'm simply gonna grab the back strand and clip it through the back of the carabiner. There's my munter hitch. Be sure to lock your carabiner. Now understand how a munter behaves. It has two orientations. This orientation here is for feeding out rope. Let's say I'm giving a lead belay, which I would be belaying directly off my harness, but let's just say giving a lead belay or lowering my partner. It's gonna look like this. And when my partner starts climbing back up to me, the knot as I pull rope through is gonna flip into the other orientation. This is your taking in rope, your, your top belaying orientation. And if your partner leans back and loads the system while you are belaying them up to you, you'll see the hitch will again flip into that lowering orientation and then it locks. When you're locking it, you're pulling on the brake strand and it's pinching the load strand against the carabiner. It's gonna to wanna to be in that orientation. And then when your climber starts moving again, it'll flip into the other orientation where you can pull rope through. Seems great, right? I mean, it really is. It'll get you out of a bind if you ever drop your device. Why don't we just use a munter all the time instead of having belay devices at all? It does tend to kink the rope. I'm putting the rope through a series of very tight bends and I can mitigate that somewhat by pushing the rope through the device and keeping those bends a little bit wider versus letting it lock down and really pulling it through a series of tight bends. But regardless, this is gonna start to kink your rope and then when you go to coil your rope or you throw your rope down to lead off of it, you're gonna be dealing with some kinky rope.